Thrive and Zoot for Jatai Academy. I want to welcome you to another video in our educational series. Today we're taking a dip in the mailbag, finding some viewer questions and answering some questions that you want to know the answers to. Jatai Academy is a place you come for great education to help build and grow your hair cutting business and we're excited to be here for you. J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web, you know where to find us. Today's question is, hey, I'm thinking about opening my own barber shop or my own hair salon. And that question could also be, hey, I'm thinking about owning my own suite rental situation, a very common work option for many people in our industry today. And what do I got to know? What do I got to think about? Clipper guy, what are the things I better take into consideration if I'm thinking about making this jump? So I've got for you my top five tips, things to think about if you're going to make the leap in ownership of your own salon or barbershop or your suite. Number one, how's your volume? How much business do you really have? This is about assessing what we call your rate of occupancy. The answer to the question, how busy are you? Busy's not a feeling. Busy's not a gut idea. Busy's a number. Busy is math because it is reasonable to expect that you will lose half your business. Half of your customers will not follow you. Wherever you're working, whatever your current situation is, you go out on your own, you're going to lose half. Know that up front. Know what half looks like and ask yourself, is half enough? Consideration number one. Number two is money. How much you got? Realistically, you need to be sitting on a stockpile of about six months worth of income. Six months of income if you're an employee, six months of income behind a chair, six months of money pretending like you're not going to make a penny for six months. And I'm just talking about backup cash. I'm not talking about the cash you need to build out, the cash you need to advertise, promote, and market, the cash you need for business startup, the cash you need for supplies to have your business running for the first six months. I'm talking about stashed, the money to cushion you for half your people didn't follow you, the money providing you the protection to at least be able to sleep easy at night knowing I'm building and I'm going to get there. You need to be sitting on a stockpile of cash and however much money you think you have, it's probably not enough. Number one was volume of business. Number two was cash. Number three is skills. Have you got the skills? Ask yourself that. Dig deep and find out. And when I talk skills, I'm not talking haircutting skills. I'm talking about the skills for all the non haircutting stuff that will be required for you to be successful as a business owner. Cause let's face it, the best haircutters don't always make the best business owners. I'm talking accounting. I'm talking marketing. I'm talking math. I'm talking payroll. I'm talking insurance. I'm talking advertising. I'm talking about negotiating with the landlord in the first place. All of these skills are vital to your success as a business owner that don't have anything to do with your skills behind the chair. Know that if you have these skills, game on, you may be ready. Know that if you don't have these skills, some of these skills can be outsourced. You can hire an accountant. You can pay somebody to do payroll. But remember, all that stuff takes money. And we're back to the idea, do you have enough dough to get it done? So that's skills. The next thing is location. And they say in business, location, 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 where are you putting this? And in your location, do you have foot traffic if you're going to need it? Do you have parking for the customers that you anticipate? Is there enough parking to accommodate growth? Do you have visibility on the street? I could do a whole video on location, but it's enough to know that the location is going to be one of the most important decisions that will make or break your business choice. Lastly, on the list of my five tips, and this is probably the most important tip is what I call your USP. USP stands for your unique selling proposition. And here's what I mean by this. Everybody can cut hair. Today, it seems like everybody does cut hair. And let's be honest, in America today, a haircut is $12. That's right, get in your car, drive down any major street in America, you can get a haircut for $12 anywhere and everywhere. Haircuts are $12. Experiences are priceless. Are you delivering an experience? If all you're capable of delivering is a haircut, we really don't need another one of those places. We've got more of those now than we need. There's more businesses than ever before, but 
there's room for you if you're going to be truly unique, if you're delivering something unlike what anybody else is delivering. And this is where you've got to really sit down and get your pen and pencil out and dig deep in your ideas for your business. Because if you really can be different, and I'm going to give you a little homework here, go to the library, go online, get a book by a guy named Seth Godin, S-E-T-H, Godin, G-O-D-I-N. It's a book called The Purple Cow. Read that book. I'll put a link to Amazon in the video description here so you can find that book, get that book, and read that book. If you can be a purple cow and you've got the money, and you've got the location, and you've got the skills, and you've got the volume to support it, go for it. But if you can't be a purple cow, even if you have everything else, don't do it. Those are my top five tips for opening a barbershop or hair salon, or even renting a suite. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. You come here for great education. We come here to give it to you. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.